We're getting into it. Matchups are really the biggest key matchup in mine. I'm gonna, I'll start off with mine here, the biggest key matchup in this game. Um, I think it's kind of what Nick said. I think it's the defensive line, the Lions defensive line versus Matthew Stafford in that O line. I, I don't, I think this is just a, I, I was trying to get rankings on this O line all like for like the last two hours and I couldn't log into my PFF to get the ranking, so I could not get it. Let me look it up for you. But at the end of the day, I don't care what they're ranked. They could be ranked number one. They could be ranked 30th. At the end won't. of the day, these guys need to get home. They need to put pressure on Matthew Stafford. You know how important it is to get turnovers in playoff games to win the game. What starts the turnovers? What forces quarterbacks to throw interceptions? Pressure, pressure, pressure. And on top of that, if you can get home and sack him four, five, six times on Sunday, game is over. If you end up with five sacks and an interception, yes. game is over. Get that that is done. Those five sacks, man, like that ends the game. That puts them back five to like that's a possession killer, especially with the defense that you have. And then if you get a takeaway and get a couple extra possessions, I, I think this ain't Hutchinson. I I think Hutch is going to be one of the biggest keys of this game. And then on the other side of the ball, um, the commish is going to have to get home. Like these guys are going to have to get home. Commish going to be fresh. He's going to be. He, he sat out last week, and it was it was so he gets fresh when he comes back. James Houston, he's going to be back potentially. He needs to get like I, I get it. He's coming off an injury. Listen, we're in the playoffs, fellas. This is it. Playoffs. There's, there's no going back. Hey, we got next. Nope. This is the playoffs. Get home. I think Hutch has a big game, and I think he he needs to. If the Lions want to win this football game and, and and go dominate, Hutch needs to come out with a sack or two, and he needs to he needs to force a turnover. I like that. Through week eighteen, the Rams are ranked seventh in the NFL in QB sack rate at five point five percent. The Lions are third at four point nine. So they're pretty close there. Decent offensive line, yep. fellas. Rams are tied for sixth in QB sacks. Uh, line with thirty four. Lions have thirty one, tied for fourth, and they got some players. Kevin Dotson, Rob Havenstein, Coleman Shelton has actually done decent run blocking. Um, so they have some players. They they and they know they need to protect Stafford to win this game yep. even more than they need to establish uh, Kyron Williams in the running game because Stafford. As much as we don't want to make him the story, he's is actually the key to this game. With that point too, as well, it's like like we're talking about the corners like. Puka and Nakua and Cooper Cup are going to get theirs. Like, at the end of the day, no matter what corner's on them or whoever it is, like, in the NFL, those are just two elite dudes in the NFL who are going to get theirs no matter what. The only way to take away from that is getting to the quarterback and, and, and pushing them back, making them have to make bigger plays, getting to the quarterback to force turnovers, force fumble, get to Matthew Stafford, yes. make, him, make him think twice about what he's doing. And that's the way you affect kind of and help those corners out is getting to the quarterback. Um, and everything else takes care of itself. It, it, puts your, it puts your safeties into position. It puts your linebackers in the spot uh, to be able to cover. And even if you want to send blitzes, AG, scheme something up. up. I'm sure he'll have something schemed up. Phipps said it at, actually today. Um, he said the one cool thing about the playoffs is like, you're not like you, you don't hold anything back each week. Like typically, you're like, let's not put this out there so people don't see it later in the year. Like no, you, everything's out there now. That's a great point. You do everything. So AG, you better have the best scheme you've had all year. Yeah, that's all I'm gonna say is you yeah. better have every the, the the top blitzes you have, the packages you have, everything. You should be ready to go. Send it. Yeah. What is your your biggest matchup though, bro? My biggest match. It- I'm going to the defensive line, but on that same note, Ben Johnson, too, he's talked about having these packages for each player. Like He's been saving up some offensive plays, too. I think we're going to see some new Ooh. some new creativity out of Ben Johnson. But you want defensive line? Can't disagree with you. I'm going to go that secondary that we talked about um, because of the defense. I, I think they're going to shut down or at least neutralize Kyron Williams in that running game, which has been a strong – when he's healthy, he's been great for the Rams. Um, but it's going to come down to how that secondary, cornerbacks and safeties, deal with Matthew Stafford, Puka Nakua, Cooper Cup, Demarcus Robinson. Um, is Tutu Atwell healthy or is he, is he out? I think he's out think still. He's out. Okay. Sure. Don't think, quote me he, on that. He might have been out for out for the year, but out. still, that's he was, a he had a good start. That's a pretty too. good. Might that sound like a great wide receiver core? But when you think about Puka Nakua and Cooper Cup leading the way, that I mean, it's hard. It's arguably one of the one of the best one two punches in the NFL when Cooper Cup's healthy. Puka Nakua broke all types of rookie records. He's a stud. He's a stud. So going to be a lot riding on Brian Branch in the slot, whether that's Koopa, uh, Koopa, Tutu Cooper, is active, or Puka. Tutu by the way, fellas. Tutu Abel is active. He hasn't really done much um, since the beginning of the year, but he is active. Interesting. Okay. But he's got some talent. He's got some skill. I think the first game of the year, he and uh, Puka Nakua both had 100 yards. It was like the first time uh, maybe in Rams history or something to have, to have had 100 yards in a game. Uh, but nonetheless, they got some talent. And we, we know Stafford can sling it. 
So if, if, if we let them get behind the defense, get behind that third line, it could be a long day. Or if we don't make our tackles, if Cooper Cup, Puka Nakua, if, if we start breaking tackles, Tyler Higby, I forgot to mention him, he's a pretty re- reliable tight end. Maybe not at the top of the league, but right there in the middle. You got to make your tackles I mean, once a, they catch it. Yards after catch cannot happen in this game. It's a great. It's still a great offense at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah. And you have to find a way to stop it. And I think Ag is going to have the plan. Like it held Dallas to what twenty points at home, and that was where they were averaging forty points per mm-hmm. game. So he's he's been able to find ways to kind of hold teams bend but don't break um, and do that. And I know, like, remember Kachi, you said yesterday, like, is that kind of like, are you going to be able to do that forever? I think that's the only way this defense is going to be able to do it at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah. So I don't blame you. Do you guys have any key matchups, Nick? I know you said real quick. Actually, uh, we we do have seven more minutes on this segment. I want to I want to make sure you have enough time to get your game prediction. If you guys didn't know, Nick is out tomorrow on one of the biggest days of the year for the Detroit Lions. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Jesus, I was messing with you off air on that. But no, seriously, I want to I want you to be able to get your score prediction out there. Um, key matchups that you have. What are your thoughts on this game, Nick? Yeah, first thought, um, it goes to our offensive line versus that bad man in the middle that we have passed on for Eric Ebron all those years ago. And that man's name is Aaron Donald. I believe it is Frank Ragnow versus Aaron Donald is going to control this game. The Lions need to be able to run the ball, control the clock, and set up Jared Goff for his play action. Deep balls to Jamison Williams that I think is going to be a massive key part in this game. I think Aaron Donald stopping him, you stop this defense, really. So I think that's the biggest key matchup to me is Frank Ragnow, specifically versus Aaron Donald. 